Welcome back, ladies and losers, to No Life Gaming. This, I'm sure as you could tell from the little intro there, is Metro Exodus. I meant to play this game a lot sooner than what uh, was actually planned, <coughs> or what well, actually happened, I should say. Uh, but at that time, I was sick. Like, uh, sick with a throat something that made me sound all like this. Okay, that was a little exaggerated, but it did not make me sound good. I did not sound like me, I, and it kind of hurt to talk. Uh, and that continued for like four weeks too. It, it, it got a little better uh, at the last two weeks, but you know, it sucked being sick. But anyway, here's Metro Exodus. Uh, loading user data. All right, so. I am very excited to get back into this game because I played when I was sick. I had gotten this when I was sick. Like I, the day before I got sick, I was recording, and what I, I didn't. I, I wasn't sick with throat things like a day after I got sick. The first day I was sick, I just didn't. I felt like crap, and. Uh, let me just get that down a little bit. This is a very dark game at times. But, uh... I'm, I'm like, totally blanking out here. I, mean, I got sick, couldn't record. But now I'm not sick, and now I can record. I've been not sick for a long time now. But I did play through this game already, so I kind of already know what's coming. Because uh, when I was sick, I figured, oh, well, this is brand new. I don't want to just, like, not play it till and, and wait till I could play, uh, till I could record it. But, uh, anyway, I think we should get right into it with a new game. Uh, ooh. Get access to gameplay modified. Right, option to relieve the Spartan, to relive the Spartan's adventure. <coughs> Excuse me. There's an even more atmospheric and complex survival challenge in the vast expanses of post-apocalyptic Russia. We're gonna just start with new game. We're gonna do hardcore like it was last. When I played this, I played it on normal. But uh, we're gonna be doing hardcore. She want to overwrite previous game data. All previous game data. We lost. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Really quick. Uh, that that. Okay, turns out uh, it takes you to the end of the game. So we're going to start a new game. Uh, maybe one day I'll do Ranger Hardcore. Probably not. We'll just start on Hardcore. There may be a cutscene here that I don't remember, so I might come and make. I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. 
We tried to make the best of what we had, band it together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it. But, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it, our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life, and I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot, but if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. Okay. Uh, just like in the last game, uh, games, I should say, there is a lot of talking, a lot of dialogue, a lot of listening, a lot of just sitting here and me being quiet while they talk. I mean, I add commentary where I can, but, you know, I don't want to spoil anything. There's a certain kind of beauty to this, I guess, you know? A uh, very, uh, what would be the word? Mm, I'm not sure. There's a certain word I'm looking for. I don't, I don't know what to describe this, though. <clears throat> a desolate beauty? If that makes any sense. Ah, uh, Moscow. A dead city. All places we are familiar with. Ah, oh, radiation. My bedfellow. Okay, let's get this open. Okay. Thankfully, it was not frosted over too much. All right, let's just get right our foot in here. Can't forget my goodies. All right. I'm not doing anything right now, this is all... Well... Oh. I can't see a thing. Okay. Alright. Well. Uh, into the tunnels we go. Uh, okay, this wasn't... Well, it didn't have one in the chamber. Okay, well, let me just uh, do this. Okay. Oh, that's that's correct. The the buttons are different, so if I end up ever messing anything up, it's because the button layout is different than it was in prior games. Um Also the uh turning is a little bit off. Ah, and our old friend the webs are still here. Some things don't change, I guess. Spoilers. There are notes and such to be found, but they're not actually written by Artyom like they were before. That filled in gaps. <clears throat> Said this time, they are from other people. Hmm. If you remember in the first game when Borban told us about the singing pipes, that was a nod to that. Okay. Nothing here. I think I can put this away. Uh, goodies. Good. 
Hold on, let me fix this. My uh, game options. Uh, wireless controller. Sensitivity. Uh, do like that. A little bit better. Could be a little bit more better. Sorry, I would have done this off camera, but I didn't actually think it would. I think it reset them. Like when I started a new game, then it reset them. Anyway, that's minor thing, minor thing. Ooh, what is this? A magazine. Haha. -ha. I will take that. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, you can climb and stuff now. Uh, sort of. I heard that. Here there be monsters. Y'all hear that? Ew, 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 ew. Yeah, that happens a lot. Uh, okay. Hearing stuff. Dead man's laughter. Footsteps of people that aren't really there. Gunfire. Gunfire is at least something good because, uh, even if it's bandits, they're shooting something that wants to kill them, probably. There's something down there. That's where we just came from, too. Just wait. I hear a station's alarm going off. Breaths of stuff. Oh. oh, that wasn't even fully loaded. Uh. Damn it, it's hard to see. Burn that shit away. Damn webs. I think they own the place. <laughs> Fuck you! <sighs> okay. He came out of the flames. That surprised me. I actually forgot that happened, so it really did surprise me. Uh, you don't want none of this, buddy? I told him he didn't want none of this, but you know. Uh, oh, hey, a note. New note. <clears throat> After a notebook. We've arrived. So far, so good. Just a couple of rats. The guys are unloading the trolley. Not enough people to cover the old roadblocks. Kolya went to get some more volunteers. But for now, we'll just cover the platform and the airlock. Looks like... Mikhailich isn't going to finish the repairs anytime soon. The mechanism is rusted solid. Shot a couple of watchmen. The beast got inside and noticed under the steps. Cunning fuckers. The airlock is dead. Uh, airlock drive is dead. Mikhailich, as he can't promise anything. We're running short on filters. Time to improvise. I guess we'll just weld the gate shut with a sheet of steel and think later. There's a stampede of watchmen up there. They haven't attacked yet, but still. Kolya brought the welding apparatus. But we can't even start the work. As soon as we make a slightest noise, they start howling up there. For now, we decided to set up some traps. So what you're telling me is watch out. I only have, uh, eight shells. Ah, shit. This is gonna be a time, isn't it? Get out of here! You next? Yep, you were next. If you, uh... Oh, yes, good, good. More ammunition. You can also, uh, douse campfires like that now. <clears throat> Without a bowl. Before you needed a st uh, the stew pot. Okay, don't eat me, don't eat me, don't eat me. I taste absolutely awesome, but still don't eat me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let me in! Okay. Uh, fucking thing. Let me in! 
Oh shit! Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Uh, fucking get out of the door! You're gonna pinch your fingers! <sighs> okay. Ah! Uh, fuck off! No! Oh, damn you! Die! I'll take you all on! Get this fucker off me! My knife! Whoever's there, please help me! Okay, I got three of these bastards on me. Can someone get me out of here? Oh! I'm losing the feeling in my legs. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's me. No shit. Okay. What do you mean? <laughs> it's night time at the station. Don't worry. I told you. I, I got it. I got it. Open up. Go. I am in pain. I'm not sure why, though. What do you mean, mad trips? I'm not sure what station this is. Do you think the colonel knows what our been up to here? Probably. How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. Yeah, no bullying. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the match? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. I thought it wasn't mauled that bad. <laughs> Why am I getting a blood transfusion? I hear voices. <sighs> oh, must have been a nightmare. Anna? Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Oh, well, that's a relief. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? <sighs> you look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Uh, no promises, dear. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Hey, man, I saved everyone. I get a little Let bit me more. Put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Can't or won't. Okay. Ugh. Little bit of radiation never killed... Never mind. Actually killed a lot of people. But doesn't Anna look fucking great? 
Like, when I first played this, I seen Anna, I was like, oh, no fucking way. I mean, she looks that good, man. Like, all of the characters look so good. Miller looks a little bit more weathered, but I think that's a good thing. Hello. <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? Sure, kid. <coughs> Although I don't think anyone believes me. Colonel certainly doesn't, neither is my wife. Artyom, stop putting till crazy like you. I'm not crazy. You can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. <laughs> Is that supposed to make him better? Exactly Please, leave my son alone. Why does no one believe me? There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. These are some thin ass walls. Okay, not in the public space. You guys just had your massive argument there in the public space. And let me actually check to make sure there's nothing in here. Sorry uh, for being quiet. I did, uh, that seemed kind of like... Uh, so, let me let me get you up here on what's going on. Artyom, while well, up on the surface one day, heard a signal. A signal from the outside. Outside being outside of Moscow. And since then, he has not been able to put that idea to rest. He cannot stop thinking about how there could be someone else, there could be until right now, was impossible. That we were the only ones left, maybe even on the whole world. And everyone else tells him he is crazy and that there is no such thing as that signal and that he never heard anything and he should just put that to bed and be done with it. And as Miller just said, he wants Anna and Artyom to go and teach the recruits uh, since we are both veteran fighters, and that would be a good idea, but Artyom is, as everyone says, being selfish and does not want to do that unless uh, there's absolutely he's absolutely sure, certain that there is no signal to be heard. So basically, Artyom is he is a very hopeful kid, I have to say. But let's get out of here now that you're up to snuff. Okay. Hey, you guys. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave you us a scare, scare, brother. I'm always Artyom. okay. How are you, friend? I'm I good, I'm good. Right. This calls for hey. Artyom, a few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. I married, bro. Hey, stop on. Hey. High fives all around. But I've yet. I give you two hours, people. Okay. All right. Then. Please 
Let's not repeat the last Hold time. on, Artyom. I am holding on. All those guys are Artyom's friends from the Order. One week later. They did kind of just like pop in out of nowhere, but you know how it is. Come on. Something, anything, come on. And? More of nothing? Oh, no. The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. You gotta look past the Geiger counter. Just. Just. Uh, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go it's... home, dear, please. But. <sighs> Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? What? You... Silent, Artyom? <clears throat> because it's dead. Maybe this world is mostly dead, but... <sighs> Fine. We took our time. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. I feel that was sarcastic. <laughs> well, if you you just gotta have faith. <clears throat> have you been to all these ruins? Um, I'm familiar with them. All the destruction, and Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Well, I mean, Moscow was a target. <clears throat> it was the uh, capital of Russia. What? To scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Oh. Dead man. Uh, let me see if I can. Oh! Right. There's a camera mode to this. Um, let me see if I can find the, the, the collector diary because there is this th there was a diary on this uh, patient file or two oh, oh that's my file uh, blood type a b i v r h plus don't know what that is been it on come on it's the third time diagnosis radiation sickness relapse light form approximately dose uh, uh, one to one and a half gy prognosis favorable treatment blood transfusion uh, one and a half k three week Kelly it uh, I Iodium, PO, bed rest, prognosis. I think that's prognosis. Uh, no, we're going to the service for a year at least. Holy shit, that's, a, that's bad. Okay, this is the guy's diary that was in here. July 6th, 2013. Too late. Sure, I went to buy food. I was going to roll the chair into the balcony to have some fresh air when the civil defense broadcast started. Crowds outside. Everyone's running somewhere. Missiles are flying. Flashes. Blinding me even with the curtains down. I still see green spots everywhere. Hope sure I made it to the metro. I thought I was done for. But looks like I still have some time. It's night and the streets are empty and silent. Just sirens blaring everywhere. And there's this green fog everywhere. It's fluorescent. Or is it just my eyes? Phone's dead. Radio too. Sure. Sure, my dear. I pray you're alright. I don't feel good. Very weak. Goodbye. Sure. Rest in peace, buddy. Yeah, I still stand by my uh, idea that it was ridiculously... Oh, we gotta squeeze through here. <laughs> it was ridiculous to start this war and involve civilians. Uh, okay, slide down. Watch out! Look, maybe okay. you should come back to the order. We'll move to Bolas. No, I can't. Says he'll arrange a flat for us. That sounds if nice. Not us, then who? Oh, don't a quote him. With a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Well, I mean, a, a kitchen and a shower. You could you could have that in, uh, it's like a beach house. What if there is a signal? You could get that beach house you wanted. Whoa! Hear that? Hear what? Turn the light off. Did you hear that? I did. Again. No, Ow! 
Got reload. Ow. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, you okay? I am. Like usual. The beasts are getting smarter. Yep. Put a little pep in our step. Little watchman ain't gonna stop us. I mean, I've killed dozens of the bastards. They're not, uh... Not too frightening. Not anymore. Well, maybe when they jump at you. Uh... Okay, medkit. I'll heal up. Poke. And it hurts a lot more than it used to. Hey, a letter! How did I not notice that next to that filter last time? It's Shura! Oh, she didn't make it. Okay, vegetable oil, one liter, clava from the main office, my ring, sugar, two kilogram, uh, Rosa Alexandrova, Alexandrovna, uh, 253, 18 silverware, buckwheat, four kilograms, margarita Seminova, uh, 253, 21, my earrings and Colio's coin collection. Uh, is that what she had on her at the time? Making a list of what to bring with, or that's what you traded it for? Yep, uh, yep. Not the biggest pack I ever seen, but all the same, I don't want to tangle with it. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. Oh. Hey, dead guys. <laughs> Wait, what is this? It's just another watchman. It looked like a dark one for a minute. I was like, wait a minute. I thought they got out of here. Let them pass. No point in fighting if we can avoid it. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. No need to turn the place into Thermopylae. Oh, I'm not even sure what that is. I think that's Greek. Limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Uh, just take a peek at what's in here. Uh, some goodies. Couple bits of ammunition, filter. Nothing special, but you know, still useful. Oh. Uh, I. Hold on. What, what is it? What am I looking to do here? I think I closed that, and that was it. <laughs> Oh, okay, I jumped up on top of this. I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, where'd my wife go? Anna! Is that you? That is you. Uh, I'll boost you up. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Light as a feather. Oh! I see, though. Come up now! Huh? There we go. Whoa! Okay. Ah, thank you. All right. At least. What's roaring? It's a train. Big freight train. A train. A damn train on the surface. Where? Hmm. I wonder where it's going. Shit, what do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? With what? On foot? Look, it's our guys from the other. It looks like they're chasing that train too. Let's join them. Okay, we're here. Did you see that thing out there? Me first, I guess. Come, come on. Come on. <laughs> Ladies first. 
Oh, wow. What? Oh! How is it I always manage to get knocked out? You okay? You should have checked first, assholes. <laughs> Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Okay. I did a number on you. Well, uh, that them a new one you know, for that. I've been through worse. Of yours, anyways. Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? Really? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? I told you. Be any. Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Should have stayed in your village. Right. People really do live out there. I mean, why wouldn't they? We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. Yep. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. <clears throat> what do these assholes steal? Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. What are you guys At doing? Give them masks back. Yeah, it's deadly for them otherwise. What? No, you don't! Let him go! What? Oh! It's a fucking dog! Ugh. Fucking off of me! Ugh. Damn you! Huh? Oh. I've been shot, but oh, oh, okay. Oh, can't see, can't see. Okay, you got mask. this it's an execution pit bodies everywhere well I'm still alive and they have Anna so but that's for the next episode all right ladies and ladies let's see I've been recording for um, 40 minutes all right, ladies and losers, I thank you all very much for watching this. I'm MegaMuffin37, this is No Life Gaming, and this has been Metro Exodus. I'm very happy to be here. To, well, not here. Uh, I mean, I'm very happy to be doing this Let's Play, because I've been wanting to for so, so long. Anyway, they have Anna. But we will get her in the next episode. Until then, ladies and losers. Uh, uh, have, uh, wait, no, hold on. I'm messing this up again. Ugh, it's because I'm so excited. Thank you, ladies and losers, for watching. I'm Megamoman37. This is No Life Gaming, and this has been Metro Exodus. If you liked this episode, leave a like. If you really liked it, like and subscribe. If you really, really liked it, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified of when we post. I'm Megamoman37. I hope to see you all in the next episode, ladies and losers. But until next time, have a good one.